Hi there, welcome to the episode 5. In this episode, it's time for us to talk about coffee processing. After the harvesting, it's time to do the processing. The processing means that uh, we need to, the pro- to process the coffee cherries on a multiple different ways in order to extract those seeds out of the cherry. There are a couple of different uh, processes nowadays can be done. Uh, natural process, wash process, can be done uh, anaerobic fermentation, carbonic maceration, can be done honey. So there is a lot of processes can, uh, can be done and can be applied nowadays. But uh, for the needs of the coffee basics and uh, to get the most basic knowledge about the coffee, for this course I will talk about the two most commonly used and that's uh, natural processing and wash processing. So before every process actually start or every processing actually starting with the sorting. So after harvests that we spoke in the previous episodes, we have uh, some more uniform, some less uniform harvests. We need to take and to choose in majority only ripe cherries. So we need to sort those cherries before we start processing. Usually the sorting is done uh, in the water uh, where, the, where the ripe cherries are, uh, where the unripe cherries, let's start from that side, when unripe cherries are heaviest and uh, falling down on the bottom, uh, ripe cherries are floating in the middle and then unripe cherries are floating on the surface and that's how usually the sorting of the cherries is done and then processing can start. So let's talk about natural processing. So natural processing is uh, consistent from a couple of steps. First, cherries when they're sorted, ripe cherries when they're sorted, uh, they are left to dry on the sun. Drying is usually done on the patios or on the raised African beds. Uh, It's not done on the soil, directly on the soil, so need to be a special layer of the on the ground which is called patio or they, it can be done on the raised African beds. Uh, while they're drying usually people are steering it in order to dry equally because it's, uh, it's drying in the layer, thick layer, so that layer need to be a little bit uh, rotated in order to dry equally all the cherries and then as well fermentation starts as well on those um, after drying. So fermentation is done with uh, full cherries and seeds together. It takes a different amount of time, depends uh, which level of fermentation farmers want to get and what flavor profile they want to get out of uh, this process. And after fermentation is done, seeds need to be extracted out from the cherry, which is done by hulling. Uh, hulling is done with a machine where you put the uh, fermented cherries together with the seeds in the top of machine and machine it separates uh, uh, pulp on one side and the seeds on uh, another side. Once when the hulling is done, seeds again are getting dried on the sun for the end of the end of the processing actually. So we extracted the seeds, seeds has a certain moisture content and we do need to dry them out up to the certain standard in order to be packed in Utah bags and later on shipped to the, to the buyers. So basically that's it when it comes to the natural processing. We have a couple of steps which is uh, sorting, then which starts after, which takes the place before any type of processing. So we have a sorting, we have a drying, we have a fermentation stage, hulling stage, and again, drying of the seeds stage, which is the last stage of the every processing as well. After each and every processing, we need to dry the seeds to the certain moisture content. Now we need to talk about the second method, which is more, also most commonly used next to the natural, and it's called washed or wet processing. Uh, Wet processing is done as the name suggests in the water. So again, we have a sorting of the cherries where we want to sort the only only the ripe cherries. And I believe you already 
uh, understood the, the, the after the picking, that sorting is the easiest because pickers are usually uh, collecting only ripe cherries. So we need to do the sorting and then for the wash process, after the sorting, we are immediately depulping the seeds. So again, we are putting cherries in the pulper, removing the pulp on one side and the, and the seeds on another side. Once when we, have, when we have removed the seeds, those seeds are going in the water pools, water tanks or containers or some big pools for fermentation stage. So in the wet processing or wash processing, fermentation is done in the water. Depends on, again, on the farm and farmers, how much they want to ferment and which type of flavor they want to they bring out. Usually it can be done 24, 48, 72 hours that uh, fermentation in water. I'm not quite sure for 72 hours, but it's usually around 24 to 48 hours of fermentation. And after fermentation in water, beans are later on taken out uh, with a certain layer of mucilage after fermentation which need to be dry out, uh, washed out from the beans so uh, beans are pushed through the concrete channels with uh, water flushing over it and uh, people are rubbing with the uh, wooden, uh, wooden uh, sticks to rub off the mucilage and to clean from that uh, uh, seeds from that fermentation after that is done, seeds are processing again on the drying since they have a certain moisture content and they need to be dry out for the shipping and the storing. They need to be dry out on the certain moisture content as the last stage of the every processing. So if you have a natural, if you have a washed, if you have a pulp natural, honey, carbonic fermentation, uh, carbonic maceration, anaerobic fermentation, whatsoever, beans need to be dried out as the last stage of processing before later on goes on the sorting in the dry mills and the shipping. Now after we said a couple of things about the processing, especially about two main and most commonly used processes as a natural and washed, we can discuss a little bit that last stage of the drying the seeds uh, because it's very important to mention that uh, that stage it's uh, taking the place in order to dry the seeds on the certain moisture level in order to be later on packed and shipped to the buyers. So basically if, you, if we dry the beans or if we dry the seeds too much they will deteriorate and they will become a fragile and they will lose a lot of, uh, a lot of substances. Uh, while if we don't um, dry them enough they will have a too much moisture content inside which later on while packed in the Utah bags and while shipped to the buyers they can create a mold uh, inside. So it's a very important stage to be done and as well it's done either on the patios or the African raised beds or actually can be done mechanically if weather conditions are not allowing us to do the to do the natural drying on the sun so we also can dry the seeds mechanically in the machines but it's as well recommended to not put freshly processed beans directly into machine so first anyway they need to be pre-dried for a certain amount of time outside and then to speed up the process of drying we can put them in machine and to finish it mechanically which will be more faster and efficient especially if Weather conditions are not allowing drying process to be done naturally. Basically, that's it. Those are the couple of uh, different steps, couple of different processes, and a uh, couple of different informations. Very useful for you to know what's happening and uh, how the seeds are extracted out from the cherry through the processing. In this case, we mentioned two different processes, and uh, that will be pretty much enough for your beginning of coffee career and uh, your basic coffee knowledge where you will be able to understand the difference between the two processes and the steps that are applied in the two different processes. Uh, one more thing is very good to mention about the two different processes and that's the flavor profile that they are giving in the cup of coffee. So coffee which is brewed 
uh, from the natural uh, beans, natural processes beans, usually gives a more fruity, more sweet, more fermented flavor profile with a heavier body and maybe traces of bitterness. While wash process is more aromatic with a higher acidity, lower body and uh, usually with uh, very, very, very or uh, non-bitterness. So those are the couple of difference, uh, differences in the flavor profiles when the coffee is brewed from the natural or from the washed process. That will be everything for the for this episode and uh, it's time for us to move forward.